Until the ice bucket challenge, very few people had ever heard of ALS. And even now, very few realize how much more needs to be done to find a cure. The Les Turner ALS Foundation and Northwestern Medicine, partners for over three decades, are working to change that. In 2014, Northwestern and the Les Turner Foundation founded one of the world's most cutting edge ALS research and patient care centers. The new center elevates the Les Turner ALS Foundation and Northwestern's deep foundation of excellence in ALS care and research and helps nearly 90% of ALS patients in the Chicagoland area battling this devastating disease. It's one thing to hear about ALS, it's another to live with it. Meg and I, my wife Meg and I have three sons. We got married uh, nearly 26 years ago. She didn't sign up for this, but you know she's there with me every step of the way and I couldn't be more appreciative uh, for her love and support. I began to suspect in, I think it was January of 2013, that I might have the disease. It impacts almost every patient differently. You know, it melts the muscles away, essentially. But in terms of my mind, I feel like my mind is agile and no change there. And that's part of the, I guess, frustration of the disease is you become a prisoner in your own body. I can't rewrite the ending of my life on Earth, so I don't spend a lot of time dwelling on it. Not one is the same. Every no. patient is different. Not one's the same. Yeah. You know, they're not just old, and they're not just men. And you know, I mean, a lot of people mm. get diagnosed young. It's not. A, doesn't have to be a familial thing. My and my my end is the one now. We met playing tennis. We've been married over 13 years and have lived in the Barrington area 14 years. Aubrey is 12 and Sarah is 10 going on 21. Weekends were family time. Took the girls swimming to the park. On Fridays played late night hockey. When a 40 and over hockey league started I was sure I'd skate circles around the old timers. That didn't happen. I was terrible and my balance was off. When I noticed my tongue twitching relentlessly I went on the internet. That was a sleepless night as ALS was indicated by most posts. First thing said to the neurologist was how can you be so sure? Okay, it's ALS. I was handling it. Then she asked if I had kids. I barely managed to say eight and seven. That moment was crushing. People with ALS slowly disintegrate. Sometimes they quickly disintegrate. It's like being frozen in your own body, watching everything slowly melt away. Progression is relentless. It started off with uh, Drew and I wanted to adopt a child. The day we went to pick him up, he was in a, a, a cradle, and so 
we walked into the room and he turned around and he looked at me and we never took our eyes off of each other from that day up until the day he passed. When he went into the nursing home, his little boy was about five. You know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even want to go in the room to see him because he remembered when his dad could talk and walk. You know, all of a sudden, all he can do is just lay there, you know, and just smile at him and put something on the computer. You know, he had no words. He, he would tell me, he'd say, his heart hurts. They took him up to ICU, and they kept bringing him back. So that by the third time, they said, do you want us to do it again? And I'm saying to myself, my child is gone. He's had enough. He's really had enough. ALS has impacted everything. There is very little that I can do for myself. This machine is my lifeline to family and friends. Life would be better and vastly different if I was healthy. I want to know one thing in my head. I like life. I think I like life. Yeah, no, I know I like it. No, um. The more attention that can be drawn to the ongoing work to find a cure or to find a way to slow it down is all for the greater good. I think anyone who knows this, anyone who sees these patients, can not remain unmoved uh, by this tragedy. It's a human tragedy. And the reason I do research in the laboratory is because of my patients. Because when I go there every week and I see what little we have done, in spite of all this work, I realize there's so much more to be done. Hope is prevailing for patients and families. A cure is out there. And the Les Turner ALS Research and Patient Center at Northwestern Medicine is going to find it. The center's laboratories and clinic are led by world-class, passionate scientists and doctors who have introduced important firsts in the field of ALS research and patient care. Their breakthrough studies are bringing us closer to critical new insights and innovative technologies to test novel therapeutic approaches in ALS. Through three world-renowned research labs, a multidisciplinary clinic, and educational activities, the center is one step closer to stopping ALS every day. Take a step yourself and join us as we work to freeze ALS. Donate today at freezeals.org.